major asterisks. Reverse trade shows are consultative selling on abbreviated super steroids. And here's what I mean by that. Chris is ponying up, and let's say Chris is a small business. It's costing him 18 G's to attend that trade show. He's got to buy a booth. He's got to ship Natalie out there. Natalie's not cheap, by the way. Natalie's first class or business class, aren't you, Nat? Yes, Natalie's like, hell yeah, I am, right? Natalie's first class or business class. She's going to do Uber Black to and from. Natalie's getting ready to turn in a $7,000 expense report from this trade show. So don't walk into that $18,000 booth with that $7,000 associate and take up a bunch of her time going, man, is that a new logo for Om Demand Fuel Cells? That's amazing. Do you think the Denver Broncos are gonna make it this year? Right, you have to realize they're can you smell that? It's cash. That smoke smell, that's cash that that company is burning to have that booth. So don't waste their time, don't waste their money. Walk right in and go, hey Natalie, hey, my name's Brian, I'm with um, XYZ. Hey, it was really excited on the whole flight out here. I was thinking about your company. I know you guys are busy. I know you guys are doing amazing things. Couple things. I, I want to compliment you guys on the booth and what you guys are doing. Um, that's amazing. And then I, I did have a couple ideas around financially without you guys having to make any significant changes where we can get you those additional funds to be able to power things like these shows, like your ad campaigns. Where would I go for those two things? Compliment about what you guys are doing and, and some ideas around uh, helping you guys get some additional <coughs> top line revenue. Then Natalie's gonna go, you need to talk to my boss, Chris, right? We call him KT. Awesome, is, is Chris, you, right? What, what's Chris's mobile? I'd love to text him some stuff. And then you're gonna zigzag, we talk about this, don't walk into the next booth, because Natalie's gonna be feeling pretty special, right? Natalie right. Wouldn't, wouldn't do this, but Natalie would do it in her cool way, she'd be like, feeling special. And if you go to the next booth and they see you going, you guys are amazing, I was thinking about it, they're like, oh man, that was a stick, right? So you're gonna zigzag, yeah. the same way they did in Nam, right? If there's a sniper, we're gonna run a zigzag pattern, right? So we don't get hit by the sp sniper. <laughs> So you're just going to cross pollinate around the trade show floor. But each of those discussions should be less than a minute and a half. Now, right. if Natalie leans in and goes, aren't you with Merchant Services? And you go, yes. How are you guys different than Square? Now you have to make, this is, this is NFL quarterback time. Now you have to make a decision. Okay? And it's a tough decision and I can't make it for you. Do I, how much do I engage Natalie? Because... Every action has a reaction, every cause has an effect. I might have an opportunity to give Natalie a sales pitch. I am still gonna pay the price for it when Natalie is pissed off and hung over and has no deals and I try and fo follow up with her, which I'm not gonna say the words follow up, after the show and I'm the person that monopolized her time, right? To which even if Natalie wanted to lean in, my policy is I would say, listen Natalie, I know you're super busy. I know you guys put a lot into this. I am more than happy to get together. I'll even buy the drinks after the show or even when we get back. I just wanna make sure that I'm not monopolizing your time at the show here, right? Oh and be very, very cognizant of that. Um, but go into the course, easternuniversity.com, course 29, trade shows, reverse trade shows. I talk about all of that and a lot more. Okay.